What's up guys, we're back today. We got another cool video for you. I'm gonna teach you how to make an automatic sub goal. Now I see a lot of content creators out there that have sub goals, but I've noticed that sometimes they do it as a text label. And while that works, when someone gives subs or subs, you gotta go in and update that manually. But what if you could do that automatically? And I'm here to tell you that you can. Now, this only works in Streamlabs OBS. So if you're an OBS Studio user, you're gonna have to come back at another time, but we'll hit you with a guide later on how to do it on that platform as well. But for you Streamlabs guys, it's a super cool, it's super easy. You don't even have to leave the app to do it, which is why I love it. So sit back, follow along. We're gonna get this quick hit out there and I'm gonna teach you how to do it right now. We're over in Streamlabs OBS now. I'm gonna show you how to do this. It's super quick and super easy. Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna go to add source and you wanna go to the widget side of the page and scroll to the very bottom and hit stream label, okay? So hit add source. And then right here, click add new source and then name it whatever you want in it. In this case, we'll call it sub goal. Typically you would hit add source right here. I'm gonna hit cancel, but you wanna hit add source, all right? And when you get there, it'll bring you to this page and this is how you wanna set it up, right? So you want the label type to be session subscriber count and then you want your label template to be like this. So you, I do count slash and then my goal. So right now you can see we're at 33 subs out of our 35 goal, and that was my daily. Um, so what I do. So then you can set the font, you can set the font style, and you can. there's a whole bunch of different options you can do, but pretty much right out of the box, um, it'll look good. So you can you can do whatever you wanna do there. So hit done. Uh, I'm gonna unhide the source so you can see it. I put it in the bottom corner. Now, something that I see a lot of people do is actually put like a text label next to it that says sub goal. You can do that. I think I like a minimalistic approach. So what I do, is I have this little target down here in the corner and that lets people know that that's my target sub goal. It just looks cleaner and it's a lot easier, you know, on the eyes, right? So every day, if you do it this way, you have to reset that stream label, right? So you wanna go down here, click the cog wheel before you start every stream and hit restart stream label. So as soon as I hit this button, you'll see this 33 go down to zero, okay? So there it is, it went down to zero and then if you want to change your sub goal live, all you got to do is go into your sub goal and then you can change this number right here and then it'll update the sub goal to whatever it is that you currently want it, okay? So it's pretty easy to do, easy to follow along and hopefully that helps you out. All right guys, that's how I make my automatic sub goal. It's literally as easy as that. I do recommend getting in there and playing with those stream labels because there's so many different things you can do. It doesn't even have to be a sub goal. It could be a follower goal or a bit goal literally the possibilities are endless. Get in there and play with it because the more you know about your streaming software, the better content creator you're gonna be. So if you guys found that helpful, please hit the like button, smash that subscribe button, and we'll catch you next week for another fun, quick and easy tip. We'll catch you later. Peace.